In our top story at 10, some Savannah State University students rallied on campus to discuss recent job and budget cuts at the school. Those cuts were announced after the president of the university resigned last Thursday. WSAB's Kyra Jones was there at the meeting and she joins us now with the actions students are taking. Savannah State students are taking matters into their own hands. With news of, of being in an $11 million deficit, they are pleading with the public to get the proper funding because they fear the school might close. Earlier today, students met to talk about the current state of the university. One of the topics up for discussion was budget cuts. Officials have had to cut its operating budget by 10% and its travel budget by 50% because of declining enrollment. State Representative Carl Gilliard tells me that this is not just a Savannah State issue and that a lot of HBCUs are struggling to get the proper funding. He and his team from the Georgia Legislature Black Caucus are committed to helping Savannah State keep its doors open. Um, Savannah State might come and, and ask for three to five million dollars, and that might be their cap window. But there are other universities, because of the formula, that can ask for 33 and 43. That's a double standard somewhere. Our formula is really off. Um, Savannah State has an $11 million deficit, and it's not by their own fault. It's, it's just that the way the formulas are um, given to Black universities, um, they have not been given their fair share of, of the monies needed to, to be appropriate for their survival. Some students I spoke with say budget cuts deeply affect their future and limits the resources they need for graduation and preparing for the workforce. Notori Milner, a junior, says she's concerned for her junior year. The point that Georgia is underfunding us is really kind of sad because although we were first here, more people like even though it's in like Atlanta, other communities, they're getting more money than we are. We are HBCU. Other HBCUs, like as we've seen with Fort Valley, they have a higher amount of money that they're getting paid. We only we're getting only funded 89 point something mil for the whole next year. That's not enough to run a community. Carl Gilliard tells me he will continue to fight for more funding. If you would like to help Savannah State, just go to our website, WSAV.com slash SSU. Kyra Jones, WSAV News 3 on your side.